Did you know that with the right setup, your mining hardware could be earning more in AI compute rentals than it ever did with traditional mining? If you've been listening to this channel, of course you knew that. But did you know there are better ways to maximize your profits switching between mining and AI compute rentals? Welcome to the Max Voltage YouTube channel where we talk about all things AI mining and crypto. Today, we're saying goodbye to Vast AI and Salad and diving into the revolutionary Chlor AI with their new Chlor Fleet feature. Stick around to discover why this could be the best decision for miners looking to maximize their profits. Before we get too far into this, I want to disclose that this video is sponsored by Chlor AI. They did not give any parameters as, as to what the content of my video is going to be regarding Chlor AI, so all opinions and information presented is my of my own thought and not suggested by Chlor AI in any way. Now with that out of the way, First off, let's explore what Chlori AI is all about. Chlori AI is an innovative platform designed specifically for miners, allowing you to transition from traditional mining to renting out your AI compute power. This shift is crucial as mining has become less profitable, but AI compute rentals can be significantly more lucrative. And here's the kicker. Chlor AI has seamlessly integrated with Hive OS, which is arguably the top mining platform out there. This integration makes it incredibly easy to transition to Chlor Fleet, a feature designed to optimize your setup for both mining and AI compute rental. So what makes Chlor Fleet stand out? You know, let's break it down. First off, ease of setup. Setting up a background mining job is relatively easy uh, it takes a little bit to kind of get to know it the first time you do it, but is easy, especially if you're already familiar with Hive o, the Hive OS interface. It's all about making your life easier. With Hive OS's new pricing, it brings cost efficiency into this that where it hasn't been before. Running a one GPU rig costs just fifty cents a month or less than two cents a day. That's an incredible deal for anyone looking to maximize their returns with renting out your compute. The other real key feature of Core Fleet is background mining at low power. Core Fleet allows you to adjust GPU overclocks separately for different tasks, ensuring you get the most out of your hardware, whether you're mining or uh, doing compute. Let me say that again. That's a key feature that no other platform has. Chlor Fleet allows you to adjust your GPU overclocks for either mining or your AI compute, allowing you not to waste energy and maximize your mining profits as slim as they may be right now. So let's go into comparing this to other uh, platforms. So let's start with Vast AI. I have a lot of experience with Vast AI. I have things on Vast AI currently. But let's dive into how Core Fleet compares to Vast AI. So first off, GPU overclocking. This is what we were just talking about. With Vast AI, you can't adjust GPU overclocks for mining separately for mining and AI jobs, which can lead to inefficiencies. Core Fleet gives you the control you need to optimize your performance for when you are mining, when you don't currently have uh, an AI compute job. The other thing that I really like about Core Fleet as compared to Vast AI. Vast AI requires verification for reliable rentals. Chlor Fleet eliminates that stress. Instead, you focus on making sure your benchmarks are accurate, that your, your equipment is performing well, and that you have good reliability. Those are the things that uh, anybody renting your hardware is going to be looking for. Uh, user experience, definitely, again, in Core Fleet's uh, uh, favor, setting up background mining jobs is far easier with Core Fleet, making it ideal for miners who want to keep things simple. It, with Vast, you have to set up your like own little Docker container in order to run that background job. If you don't have experience with Docker, you don't have to worry about that with Chlor. You just set up how you would normally set up a regular mining job and then Hive OS takes care of it from there. If you don't have a, a compute job, it runs the miner. If you, and if a, somebody comes in and rents your hardware, then it switches over to 
your core AI job or core AI job. So the other piece of it, and I kind of already referred to this a bit, the VM verification. Uh, and uh, while vast AI will not verify virtual machines. So let's say you have hardware that you're using for other things, but you have a, a GPU in there and you have extra uh, memory and extra uh, cores available. You would be able to run a instance of Chlori AI using that GPU. With Vast, they don't verify VMs. There's a way that they can tell whether it's a VM. Chlor Fleet, again, you don't need to worry about the verification part of it. You can still maximize your profits and have a good performing uh, compute uh, regardless of whether or not it's a VM. So let's let's go into let's switch gears a little bit. Let's go into Chlor AI versus Salad, uh, and I don't think this is any competition. Uh, so first off, continuous earnings. Chlor Fleet allows for background mining, so you're always making money. Like I said, mining maybe not so much, but it's still profitable. Uh, while Salad leaves you idle when you're not rented, so you're making zero. So definitely a feather in uh, Chlorfleet's hat on this particular uh, uh, feature. Uh, the other piece of it is pricing control. So with Chlor AI, you set your own rental prices. So you can set it, you know, Chlor, as you've seen in other videos, with Chlor, you can set it to be uh, a certain uh, multiple above what your current mining profit is, or revenue, I should say, not profit or you can set it static at a certain amount, but you have that control to make sure that you in fact are rented or you're doing the thing that's most profitable for, for you. So with Salad, you have no control. They set the price and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. You may not even get the same price depending on the job. So that can be very frustrating with Salad. The other piece of it is, is the target audience. Okay, my audience is mainly miners. We have dedicated hardware. Salad's focus, uh, their market focus, is on gamers using idle compute power. So that's where they have targeted their features and such. So, But the problem is they're ignoring a larger demand from dedicated compute resources. And Clore is perfectly positioned to meet that need while Salad is leaving that behind. They're just not focusing on it. So for us as miners, this, uh, Clore easily takes this. Um, the other part of it is, is the feedback culture. Clore has listened. They, in, you know, they basically brought in Hive OS to make things easier. Their focus has been on how do we make it easier for the host. Salad, on the other hand, they have for gamers, but it's Windows based. There's a lot of complications when you have a Windows-based uh, uh, compute platform. So the key thing is Salad just hasn't been responsive to suggestions. Many users have reported that when they suggest changes to Salad, they often feel dismissed. Chloria, on the other hand, is designed with dedicated compute users in mind. Still not convinced? Let's take a quick look at one person's opinion who has already made the switch. So right now, I think there's a few things that Clore is doing that's, you know, really positive um, for the AI and the mining community. And that was their integration, obviously, with Hive OS with the uh, Clore fleet uh, feature, making it pretty simple. I mean, relatively simple. I mean, from a, you know, install perspective for people to get on their platform and mass onboard their GPUs. Um, I've had some pretty good success with my rentals over there. I'm like currently at like 12 bucks with a 4090 um, a day, which is insane. And I know Panda's doing, um, me and him been talking and he's been doing his Octominers. He's done, I think like a dozen or so, and he's getting like two to three X of what the regular, you know, mining profitability is. So actually in turn, he's actually, you know what I mean? being more profitable this way. And I think this is a strategy that people, I, I kind of think they kind of, they don't use, right? This is kind of goes back to my max voltage way, you know, mind what's most profitable, right? It's like, why, why only make $2 a day when we can make $6 a day? You know what I mean? Cause then we can just go trade into the coins that we want to be in and, you know, support or whatever. So 
Um, Chlor's doing some really cool stuff. They have the proof of holding that increases, you know, your yields by 30%. So, I mean, they're doing some a lot of exciting things. So there you have it. Chlor AI and its Chlor Fleet feature represents a significant leap forward for miners wanting to make the most of their hardware. The integration with Hive OS makes it user-friendly and the features set it apart from both Vast AI and Salad. So who cares what I think, right? What do you think? Are you ready to make the switch to Chlor AI? Have you checked out Chlor Fleet yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on all things AI and mining. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. The General is out. Have a good day, everybody.